The man clinched the bodybuilder's championship. His father, the former champion, eagerly took the stage and hoisted the trophy with him, but... The firefighters arrived promptly. The scene is pure chaos. The father and son found themselves stuck on the stage, getting an earful from furious fans, because the substance in his arm is synthetic oil, intended to bulk up his muscles. To everyone's surprise, the father is a fraud. All the honors he tirelessly earned throughout his life are completely trashed today. This will also mess with his son's future. After some emergency medical attention, the firefighters were ready to take him to the hospital. However, the irate fans cornered them. The black policewoman had to grab the microphone. I don't know if what this man did, but I do know this. That pursuant to section 148.2 of the California State Penal Code, it is a misdemeanor to willfully obstruct emergency personnel from discharging their official duties. Now let me advise you. Do not obstruct. Finally, the crowd dispersed. Before leaving, the guy decided to ditch the hard-earned trophy he just got. The man was burned alive on a tanning bed. Rescuers gave him a chest massage. The guy's chest skin practically became best friends with their hands. Nope, he's gone. Nearby, the girl thought he deserved it. Turns out, yesterday, the man left his poor dog locked in the car. The coworker warned him about the blazing 37 degree heat outside, saying the pup might turn into a hot dog. But he snapped, not your dog, not your problem. Just get back to work, off to the gym. He went, concerned for the dog. The coworker stormed into the gym, grabbed a dumbbell, and headed back. The guy, clueless about her agenda, stayed in the oblivion zone. Another colleague reminded him about the busted timer on the sunbed and asked him to fix it. The guy shrugged it off. Then, the unmistakable sound of shattering glass. He dashed out, only to find his car window smashed. Furious, he promptly gave the boot to the woman. But the next day, when she swung by for her paycheck, she found her man already on the sunbed extra crispy. The guy was taking a leak. Out of nowhere, the portable toilet skyrocketed into the sky. Just a minute ago, the guy really had to go. He rushed to the portable toilet in a hurry. As soon as he shut the door to answer nature's call, a blast of hot wind hit. The girl's ice cream melted in the blink of an eye. The temperature kept climbing. The guy inside the toilet was sweating buckets, so he stripped off his t-shirt. He wanted to bail, but when he tried to open the door, the handle was scorching hot. The sealed space kept getting hotter, realizing it was getting dangerous. The guy started calling for help. Out of the blue, the portable toilet soared into the sky. It surpassed the ferris wheel, ascending higher and higher. The poor guy inside was tortured to the point of misery. With no other option, he dialed 911. The operator asks him where he is, but he's completely clueless. He tries to kick the door open, but the handle has melted and melted with the plastic. Just then, the toilet starts filling up with water. It seems the guy might have ended up in the sea. The water level keeps creeping up. The guy is absolutely terrified. The operator keeps reassuring him. After checking some info, she finds out the top of the portable toilet is fastened with screws and can be opened with a coin. Luckily, the guy has a coin on him. Just as he's turning the screw, the coin slips into the water, crushing the man's last hope. At this moment, firefighters roll up to the amusement park and locate the toilet in a massive water tank. They slice open the cover and indeed find the guy inside. A gal's attempting a yoga stunt, hanging upside down on the balcony, and then... <laughs> the rescue team storms in, she's frozen, contemplating life from the seventh floor ledge. They're ready to call in the CSI squad. When she miraculously wakes up, firefighters strap her spine for the grand descent. Her legs are now honorary noodles, so they slap on some splints for the road trip. Meanwhile, the woman more worried about her phone than her fractured limbs keeps babbling about it. Seeing her phone obsession, Captain Obvious sends someone upstairs. They discover the ongoing live stream. Turns out, our gal was attempting balcony yoga for internet fame and fortune. She bent herself into a real-life pickle. The girl is going full primal on a steak. The dude can't believe his eyes. They're in the midst of a steak-eating showdown. The grand prize is a lifetime supply of free meals at this joint. She snatches a chunk of steak, shovels it into her pie hole, and then starts guzzling water. Blink, and she's transformed half a steak into a meaty memory. She mocks her opponent, earning cheers from the peanut gallery. The beefy dude, realizing he's outmatched, wisely concedes the meat crown. The gal, high on steak triumph, 
throws in some impromptu dance moves, but suddenly topples over. Enter the firefighters who see the girl's bloated belly, and initially think she's got a baby. It's only when they spot her bladder on the brink, and the empty water cups, that they realize she's got a serious case of hyponatremia. They improvise and catheterizes the girl right then and there. The restaurant owner tries to play peacemaker, but ends up getting hit with a surprise urine shower, turning his prized celebrity wall into an avant-garde art piece. Would you take a bite out of this wild challenge? The poor, chubby otaku died at home, discovered after decomposing, his body's turned into a decomposing balloon, especially his belly. Firefighters are scratching their heads, trying to figure out how to haul him out. The genius forensic expert suggests, turning our hefty friend into a jigsaw puzzle, to fit him through the trailer door. But hold up, there's a crowd outside, we can't let our guy, the lifetime joker, lose his dignity in death. So. The man grabs a 777 meters knife, and goes all operation room on the chubby guy's belly. Out comes a symphony of foul gas mixed with decomposing juices. The smell? It's legendary. The reluctant medical examiner, stuck with the cleanup, shoves tubes into the poor guy, slowly but surely. The body deflates, they pack the chubby guy's remains into a body bag, he gets to keep a smidgen of dignity. Who knew death could be this absurdly entertaining? The chubby man. Engrossed in watching a game, absent-mindedly puts foil-wrapped food into the microwave, causing the foil to catch fire. Unfazed, he tosses the flaming food into the trash, igniting it, and the fire spreads to the carpet. In a panic, he dials 911. The rescue team arrives, saving the security guard trapped in the chaos. Meanwhile, a call informs the captain about the burning factory containing fertilizer and nitric acid. The captain rushes to warn his teammates to evacuate, but it's too late. The factory erupts in a massive explosion, swallowing the team in a colossal blast. Do you know what things cannot be heated in the microwave? The hot girl holds onto a child, blood dripping from her wrist. She pleads with a neighbor to give her a ride to the hospital. Andy insists her wrist needs urgent attention, and argues for an ambulance. The girl shares her struggles, being a single mom with an unreliable ex, behind on rent and unable to cover ambulance costs. Andy makes do by using her t-shirt to stop the bleeding, and has her husband call her dad, then He's comforting the girl. She eases up upon hearing the plan. The elderly man takes her to the hospital, leaving the couple to look after the kid. Unexpectedly, the little trouble Troublemakers start messing around with the man's toy gun.